Alice is a professional athlete. And I'm going to be training like one for an entire week. And it's because when I was in high school, someone called me weak. I was actually in a wheelchair for a lot of elementary and middle school because I had really extreme eczema condition where I couldn't walk. Like I basically scratched my skin off. <laughs> I know that's pretty graphic, but yeah, like I was just a frail looking kid and it's because I had these health conditions that didn't really allow me to move as much as I wanted to. And ever since then, I've always wanted to switch narrative. And I thought what better way than to train like an athlete for a whole week. So it all starts with going to Portugal. So this is Julia and this is Guy. And they're hosting a surf camp here in Portugal. Guy is a professional surfer who's gonna help me train like a pro. But first, we gotta eat. Uh, what do you eat every day? I eat a bit of everything. Before I was really strict with my diet and I was always stressed and I was like doing a sugar-free diet, gluten-free diet. Mm. Now I, I feel more, like we waste so much energy in the ocean that we need, we need calories. And I'm more relaxed, more calm, and I feel really energetic. In the water, I drink a lot of coffee too, it makes me feel good, a lot of water. You just said that when you serve, you can like exert over 3000 calories, but I need to eat way more. Okay, so this is our breakfast. Thank you so much, Julia, for making it and, and Guy. So we have eggs. This is my request because I love bacon. We have croissant, orange juice, and the most important thing, ketchup. I also bring a pack of these everywhere I go, I have a fresh bottle every meal. You're not gonna. I think I'm gonna regret this again saying this, but I'm still not sore yet. Actually, yesterday she was like on fire on the gym. I was impressed. We're going again on Friday, and uh, you are lucky that we are. We just served once yesterday. Yeah. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I look like the guy on the house kitchen. <laughs> you are Gordon Ramsay. Right. So we just finished surfing. Today the waves were really, really small, but they were fun. I ended up using a longboard, which is a little bit easier on smaller waves. However, tomorrow apparently the waves are gonna be a lot bigger. Tomorrow is what I need to prepare for, so I'm kind of nervous. It's gonna be like triple the size of today. One thing about surfing is like, if you're in the water for so long, the salt water just like burns your eyes and I just, I can't see basically. It act Wait, actually now it burns really bad, but we're about to go to training and we're eating all candy bars so we don't pass out. Is this normal for athletes to eat like this much sugar? Yeah, this guy's yeah. <laughs> guy like, we are wasting so much calories. LA influencers are gonna be like, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, guys, I just came back from a personal training session with Guy's trainer. I'm smiling right now, but I legit was in so much <laughs> disbelief of how hard it was. Like, I was so pooped after. I'm gonna take a shower now and eat. Also, my workout outfit is from Feet, if you guys are wondering. This is Lululemon, though. So I'm to eat. Oh my gosh, good morning. The waves are so much bigger than the past few days. I'm so nervous because even one of the guys on this trip was saying, that even for him, he's been surfing for like seven years, it's really hard to just get out there and paddle because the waves are so strong, they just push you back to shore. <laughs> I actually don't know how to shortboard or duck dive. So I'm actually fine, but apparently we're going to a place with a better current, a better bank. I'm so nervous, I literally couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> don't stress, don't fight the wave, just let the wave smash you and then when it's more calm, go up. But when you come up and you see another one, what do you do? You just do the same thing over and over? Just breathe again, relax. <laughs> All right, I just finished surfing. I didn't really surf today. I kind of just paddled out, went out there and took a view and came back. But there was a part where there was a, two big sets coming in and I was right at the place where the wave was gonna hit you. The first one hit me, right? I went underneath, I was like literally blown backwards like a washing machine. But the second one I pop up, right? And I was looking at the wave and all I could think was like, wow, this is really pretty. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm in the ocean. My brain somehow thought I was in a YouTube video watching like some GoPro footage. Honestly, it was really beautiful. Like, I'm not gonna lie. 
kind of want to go back out there when I know how to surf this board. It was just so peaceful. I was like, oh my god, I'm literally in nature. But then I was gonna, like, I could die. It's kind of peaceful though. Anyways, we're gonna surf some smaller waves later because your girl is <laughs> traumatized. Just kidding, no, it's actually not that bad. Like, it was scary at first, but then now coming back, I was like, I can do that again. That looks easy peasy now. One of the nice things of serving bigger waves is it's kind of like exposure therapy where now I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> frustrated because I don't know how to duck dive which is the scale you need to be able to get through bigger waves and I know I'm just beginning but I'm just it's just frustrating because it's also exhausting I am exhausted <laughs> do you have any advice for me little bro have you been here before I just can't pop up on these bigger waves but what you're scared or what scared and also I don't have to duck dive you never had issues with duck diving I had but I would just keep going till I cannot get past like I would just keep going until you got it yeah how about bigger waves? You're never scared? No, because like these weren't so hollow, so they're not really dangerous. Okay. All right, right now we're surf skating, which is a tool you can use a train to surf. This is what it looks like. I actually don't know how to pump. <laughs> she skates weird. There is something weird. What? There is something weird in the arms. No, I think like... You are too much <laughs> that looks like the TikTokers. <laughs> Oh, we just finished surf skating training. It's a lot harder for me just because I'm apparently doing a lot of things wrong. But it's really helpful to understand uh, the things I need to improve on. So now we're gonna go in the water and surf. Hopefully the waves are a bit more um, approachable for me than the last. I was looking at the footage from yesterday and I didn't realize like how big it looks on shore evens. And I can't believe I even went out in the first place. So sometimes you just gotta give yourself a pat on the back for trying. Cause I try my best, God damn it. If I win, we go here. If you win, we go to the other scary place, right? How do you get barreled? How, how, what is the stance? Like teach me. The ways. Basically to stay really low. Wow. <laughs> when you fall, just try to protect your head. Just jump to the front and protect your head. Everything is gonna be alright. That's it? Yeah, let's try. <laughs> Alright, brand reveal. Did I get barreled? I think you got covered by foam. It was better than I expected. So, so I think uh, I think you made it. She got barreled twice. Really? <laughs> okay. I don't even know and if the I did. The first one was like you can actually take a picture from from the footage. It looks sick. She's like literally like grabbing the rail, like looking professional. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, Guys, this is just the geese surf experience. There's no talent right now. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Oh, no. I can't. I, I can't I tell. Like, I, I had to double check if I filmed it. You know, because you, I was like, <laughs> you're shaking. I was shaking. Can you can you show me? <laughs> Portugal for one reason. I had a really rough day today. I basically had a mental breakdown at the beach today. I was crying <laughs> in front of everybody. Um, basically what happened is I had a really good day surfing yesterday and today I had a shit day like I literally couldn't get up and these waves were double the size of what I'm used to so I was out of my comfort zone but instead of being open-minded and patient myself I was judging myself I was being like you're you suck like you're stupid and I just kept doing that and like progressively got more frustrated because I'm like yelling at myself and no one's yelling at me it's just myself and it's really annoying because I know that surfing takes a long time to get good at but I also understand a lot of athletes feel this way I was talking to Guy about the mental side of being an athlete and so much of it can be just like sometimes you just can't surf one of the days just because of a mental block or you're just physically tired. And it's so funny because like I asked him, okay, so what's the solution if you're having like a really bad day surfing? And then he said, 
either you rest or you surf more. It's really frustrating because like I want to solve this whole thing in a day. Like I want to build Rome in one day, which is obviously not possible. And I'm just learning to be a bit more stoic. I just, I just feel a lot of like judgment on myself. Like I might not be able to surf good today, but I'm good at judging myself every day. And I'm just trying to not do that because surfing is really hard. And I've only done this for like a few years compared to 20. <laughs> and it's so stupid. Like I act like I literally feel stupid judging myself because it's like, what do I expect me to be fucking pro in a day? No. And it's like, I know this. And I'm just like, why am I being so hard on my, like, why am I being so hard on myself? And it's because I love it. Like, I really love this sport and like, it means so much to me, but because it means so much to me, I take it too seriously. I find that I have like selective memory where if something good happens, I like let it through one ear and out in another. And I only focus on the negative. I did have one good wave today and that should be enough, but... I think I need a rest. I don't even know what day it is, but good morning, bon dia. Today we're going surfing. It's been kind of rainy lately, which is apparently normal for the weather of Portugal. However, tomorrow, apparently the waves are gonna be like 10, 15 feet tall, 20 feet. And <laughs> that's pretty unsurfable for me. So we're gonna try to surf as much as possible today. Also, as I'm getting ready, I just wanna talk about how I'm feeling. Cause yesterday I was, really down. I'm feeling a lot better. I think one of the things that I'm trying to work on is just taking myself less serious and at the same time, keep up with my discipline. Cause I have very good discipline. Like I love to have a system, a routine. I like to work out. I like to try things even if, if I fail. But the problem is the self judgment and like my self doubt. So I'm trying to find a balance and like being kind to myself, but also still keeping up my routine. Hopefully my mental state is a bit better. surfing for like two and a half hours. It was so fun. I felt a lot better. I'm really tired. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good, bro. I have a question. Would you rather? Would you rather be mm. stay with your life? What? Right? What? Would you rather okay. keep yourself with your life? Okay. Or to be a professional surfer? I already know the answer. <laughs> my life. Because <laughs> yeah. I know like it's just it's like, I want to be a professional surfer, but I know the mental is is crazy. Like would you rather be what I'm doing or would you rather be what you're doing? Me. Okay. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. I think I was just more focused on having fun and not taking myself seriously and that really helped. I learned in this whole experience is like really focusing on your own progress as a like compete with yourself essentially versus competing with other people and every day I'm getting better at this trip so I'm gonna try to celebrate those small wins. I'm so happy. The reason why I wanted to make this video was to see if I had the discipline to train like an athlete for a week and I think I did it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspires you to do something that might scare you or challenge you, but do it for yourself, not for anyone else, because I'm just so happy that I could push myself and I'm so glad that you guys are here. So shout out to the car Make sure you guys check out my other Portugal vlog that me and my editor worked so hard on and follow Guy and Julie. Bye.